Now, when you guys think of Kobe Bryant, you think of the Mamba mentality, his willingness to never back down from any challenge. You know Kobe was going to give his full effort no matter what on the basketball court. Now, yesterday, the one-on-one -on -one court was actually added onto the park for about four hours, and you guys know Kobe Bryant had to make his, his appearance. Now, I will say this. I did lose a few games to post scores and some centers, man, just drop-stepping. There's nothing I can do, man. I'm 6'6", no defensive badges, so I hope you guys cut me some slack. But we did end up dropping off some centers. We had a lot of good guards pull up. And I kind of showed how versatile this build can actually be. But again, if you guys want to see any other Kobe Bryant videos in the future, man, always leave them in the comment section. I read every single comment. But I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Yo, what's going on, guys, man? It's Dignified TW, and we are finally back with another Kobe video. You guys knew the one-on-one -on -one court was being added on Friday. You know I had to pull up on my Kobe build, show you how this build can ISO, how well it can perform. And yeah, like I said, uh, there's some few games like this game right here where it's not a, really any comp at all. You can see this drop step. I don't know how that's lightly contested. I guess that's just with the new register with the uh, contest system. But like I said, I have a lot of games for you guys. I have about four or five where we dropped off some centers. You know, we dropped off some really good guards. But like I said in the beginning, guys, I did get dropped off a few times by post scores, just mashing and pushing and all that kind of stuff. But look at that green right there. Look how big that bar is, by the way. But like I said, I did lose to a few centers. So if you're coming to the video and you know I, you, I would have dropped you off on the post score, man, just leave, leave me alone. But you can see, look at this drop step to the dunk right here, man. This build can literally do everything. Because I know a lot of you guys have questions about this build. Look at that ankle breaker. I know a lot of you guys have questions. But to be honest with you, like I said, this build can do everything. Nice little hop shot right there. It can shoot. It dribbles very well. It can dunk. And of course, the post game is going to be there. Look at that behind the back fadeaway. Oh my gosh, that's clean. If you guys want to know my animations that I do use for this Kobe build, go ahead to my latest video on the Kobe. I have it, the full build, everything you have to know, the jump shot, the creation, all that stuff. Another green light right there. If they give you any room on this build, you can pull. Now, there's a little bit of a downside, like I mentioned as well. You don't have any defensive badges. So if you're going against like a 6'9", 6 6'10", 6 6 player, you know, somebody taller than you, it's going to be kind of hard to play defense. You do get Bruiser, which does help a little bit, but doesn't help too much. Look at that. Another fade right there, guys. I'm telling you, this build can hit pretty much <laughs> any shot. You can see me going behind the back right there, eye swing, fade away to the corner. That's like my signature move. If you guys can start knocking down fadeaways, it opens your game so much. And then you can go right into the post. You can speed boost. Look at that nice little spin move right there. You can do so much on this build. This is going to be, I think I got two more shots at this game. I'm kind of just toying with this kid, to be honest with you. You can see I'm doing a couple moves right here. Going back into the post, you see I'm going to baby him. He thinks he has me on defense. Green light, hop shot back, man. I'm telling you guys, if you do not have a guard build or you're looking for a build to have fun on, make this build and you will not regret it. Look at that hop shot green. <laughs> That's too easy. I guess for this next game, we can see we're playing a 95 overall sharpshooting playmaker. You guys know my build doesn't have any defense, so if he gets his takeover, it could be a GG. You can see the first play of the game, though. We're going to the signature fadeaway. Kobe had one of the best fadeaways ever. Look at that spin move right there, going right back into the post. Going to hit him with a speed boost. A lot of guards, like I said before, they don't know how to guard a speed boost because they never really have to go up against it. So with this build, you're able to dribble up. You can combo up a little bit. But you can see I got a little bit too cocky at this point. I chuck a three-pointer, and he's going to get the ball back. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. This dude was cooking me. You can see the first play of the game for him. He's going to cross me over, break my ankles, get it easy too. Now, this guy was a good dribbler. I'm not going to lie to you. But I played pretty decent defense. But look what goes in. Like I said, guys. You don't have defensive stopper on this build, so a lot of those shots are actually dropping down. 2K is going to give him a white right there. He's draining that. 6-4. to four. Now, I know he's going to be close to takeover. I have to get a stop soon, or this game is going to be over because takeover with a sharpshooting playmaker is OP. You can see he's pulling from deep. He dribbled too much. Ended up missing that shot, so maybe his takeover went down just a little bit. I know I have to score, so I'm going to do my thing at the top of the key. Go behind the back break his ankles like i said i don't even have all my badges maxed out yet but got three seconds left on the shot clock look at that kill i got him to jump but i faded and missed i lagged a little bit i'm not even gonna lie to you but that was an absolute kill he's gonna step back lightly contested and it goes in bro and he has takeover like imagine if i didn't miss that shot i would have went on a little bit of a run because i was pretty decently close to takeover as well but now he, he i'm not gonna lie to you he cooked me right there he's going up 12 to 4. Now, like I said in previous videos, guys, 
if somebody has takeover you usually want to try to get a stop before they get to about 16 or it's going to get real ugly real quick but look where he's pulling from that's beyond hash mark 15 to 4 now i know i had to get a stop right here at this possession or it's going to be over but look what 2k is giving him he's getting in the blow by he actually killed me with that spin gets a reverse lightly contested layup to go down he's up 17 to 4 17 to 4 guys like i said this guy was good I knew I wasn't going to back down. You guys know Kobe Bryant doesn't back down from any challenge. He should have probably shot that, but he shoots a fadeaway, but I think by accident. I'm 6'6". Six, six. I'm able to get that rebound. Now I know I have to do my thing and score. So I'm going to get him with a crossover. I'm going right back into the post. I know these guards can't guard the post score. You can see I'm blinking red. Hit him with a drop step. Relentless finisher on silver. I get that on gold, but I'm going to get a lightly contested drop step to go down. Look, you guys can see with the badges popping up. I'm nowhere near close to max with all my badges, but look at that nice little spin move again. Fade away, green light, man. You can do everything on this build. The post game is insane. But like I said, guys, my badges are maxed out. So I'm going against a lot of players like this guy at 95 overall, or I'm going against like glass cleaners that have all maxed out badges, and I'm still doing my thing with this build. You can see I kill him with that speed boost, reverse dunk, throw it on his dome. Now we have takeover. I have to at least get like to 18 or 17 where he's at with takeover. His is ran out, but he can still cook up a little bit. You can see me doing my thing up here. He's reaching. I'm going right back into the post. Hit him with the speed boost. Another thing right there. Got two seconds left on the shot clock. I'm fading away. It doesn't matter when you have takeover. Fade away at all costs. I only have mid-range Jedi on silver as well. So you guys can only imagine when this, when this build has all Hall of Fame badges. But you can see another speed boost going right to the dome. Dunking it down. 14 to 17 like I said I did play some good people and this guy was definitely one of them look at that behind the back donk oh my gosh that was actually a pretty good kill I like that behind the back a lot I know a lot of people use a different one I think pro 3 but that's my behind the back right there I'm going back into the post you know I'm doing my thing down here he's gonna start clamping it up a little bit luckily I try to go for a reverse dunk 2k usually makes you step out on that luckily I got that to drop down takeover definitely helped right there 18 to 17 I only have difficult shots on gold but you can see that step back breaking ankles again cook up a little bit behind the back crossover going right back into the post I'm gonna baby him down there he's a little playmaking sharpshooter I don't know how that's heavily contested I guess that's what, like I said again the new detector but look at that nice hop shot back 2017 so you would think this game would be over I probably could have ended him but I kind of rushed that shot Five seconds left on the shot clock. I put up a pretty bad shot, and he's going to get the ball back. Now, look, he's going to do his thing right there. All sharpshooting playmakers love that move, the crossover to the step back to the, you know, momentum or whatever. And it's a really good move. So you can see next basket wins 20 to 20. Thank goodness that was freaking heavily contested. I don't think yesterday that would have probably been green. So I know I have to do my thing right here. I do not want to give him the ball back. So you can see last play of the game, I'm stepping back, stepping back again so he can't reach. I'm going behind the back, between the legs, going to post him back up again. You know I have to go right back into the post. Doing my signature move right here, way too much space, wide open shot, bang. What a game that was, guys. This build is so much fun to use. All right, guys, so this is probably going to be the last gameplay. I do have a few more that I can show you guys at a later date, but... I don't want to make this video too long, and I did want to show the defense and how I play defense on certain people, but you can see again, I'm playing a rebounding athletic finisher right here. I don't have all my badges. This guy definitely does, but you can see I'm doing my thing early on. He jumps too early. I'm hitting him with a reverse dunk, a shot creating post score that can do that, man. It's actually crazy, but you can see right here, we're up 4-0. I'm pretty decently close to takeover. Gonna hit him with a speed boost, going up 6-0 very early. Now, I did mess up a few times this game. You can see right here. I'm going to step back, shoot a full bar, end up missing that shot. My three was not falling. It was a good shot, but again, you guys know what this kid was going to do. So I'm going to cut out a few of his possessions. But the very next play, look at this move. I pick it up, fade into the corner, a full bar, green light in the corner. We're up back 8-2. to two. Now, again, I'm going to combo up a little bit top of the key. When you're going against, like, bigger people like this or you're going against, like, a 6'10", 6'11 player, look at him jump twice and end up blocking me. I feel like that's a huge issue with 2K, but if you're going against slower people like this, you have to abuse your speed and your lateral quickness. You can see right here a great spin to a fadeaway right there. Excellent move. 10 to 2. Now, look right here, guys. I tried to do a step back, end up messing up, and I was so maxed. I just got takeover. I tried to do a step back, and it made me pick up my shot. You guys know this guy was going to go on a little bit of a run, but look again. I get the ball. He only scored twice, and I'm shooting another fadeaway. Like I said, you got to abuse the lateral quickness. Look at him do the nay nay, bro. And I'm finishing it with the left hand green light. I actually break a ton of ankles on this game. 
but you can see again he's getting the ball this dude was trash picks up the shot i make him pick it up i made him pick up the ball about three times this game i'm gonna go with another crossover behind the back he's playing hands up defense i'm going right back into the post i'm gonna be patient i got about five seconds left fade away hand down man down wide open shot excellent release man this fade away on this player works so well and like I said, if you want to know my animations, go check out my Kobe creation video I dropped last week. Look at him jump three times in the span of a pump fake. Still get the green light. It's all good. But again, I did another one of those forced pickups. He's just mashing all his way in. He was close. I honestly thought I was going to lose this game. If this guy was smart, I probably would have. But you can see right there, another spin move. Right back into another spin move. Going to hit him with the speed boost towards the paint. He's not playing any defense. Wide open shot again toward the baseline. 20 to 16 now this is going to be the last play of the game guys like i always say if you want to see more challenges with the kobe video leave them in the comment section left hand dunk to finish it guys anyways i've been dignified and i'm out i'll see you guys in the next video peace